Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Advait Tacker with us. He is the founder and CEO of Apex Infosys India. He is the youngest Google, Microsoft's Bing, and HubSpot certified professional, and he is also amongst India's hottest young entrepreneurs of 2018. So welcome to the show, man. Yeah, it's been an honor to be on the show, Tyler. Of course, man. Thank you for coming on. So the first one I got for you um, on this show is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Okay, so since my childhood, I was a very curious kid. Whenever I saw any new gadget, a lot of questions used to arise in my mind, like how it's made, how does it perform certain function, etc. And also technical and some weird questions. I spent my childhood exploring new things. Uh, I started using computers when I was six and launched my first website at age nine. But at the same time, I used to play a lot of video games those days. And at that time, kids were introduced to gaming consoles, so-called PlayStation. And I used to play a lot on it at my cousin's house during my vacations. Uh, So after coming home, I remember I asked my parents to buy one for me. Now, this is where the story begins. Uh, Of course, they refused to buy me a PlayStation as they felt that it would have a bad impact on my mind as well as my brain. So at that time, my anger knew no bounds, but still my parents did not change their decision. And I think that one decision changed my life. Uh, What I am today is because of them. And for that, I'm so grateful to them. Hmm. And then what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Uh, Yeah, Uh, in my opinion, it is LinkedIn. Uh, It has really given me plenty of opportunities uh, using the platform to talk about milestones, challenges and learning from entrepreneurial stories will go a long way in building deeper connections, I think, and in fact, grow business. From entrepreneurs to marketers, right from day one, LinkedIn always has been the powerful source of quality sales intelligence. I mean, you can raise your firm's visibility, build business relationships uh, and secure clients and convert them into loyal customers. So LinkedIn always has been go-to source for building professional network online and is the most valuable piece of information in my industry as well. And then what's your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. I would say that uh, choose friends wisely. You are the average of five people you associate with most. Uh, I've heard this from more than one person, including best-selling authors. And the second thing I believe that your network is your net worth because networking is uh, really crucial in any industry. So I think this... And then if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Uh, Tyler, I'm still 15, but uh, still, uh, if I had to give an advice, uh, it had been that uh, I wish I had been more social because until seventh grade, I was like an introvert. Uh, I was very different from rest of my friends and always stood out from the crowd. But still, I never wanted to share about what I have done or what I have achieved. So this would be the piece of advice I would have given to my younger self. Hmm. And then in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Uh, This age-old question can never really be answered because we each define uh, happiness in a different way. But still, if you are an entrepreneur, it's like you measure happiness by your success. So related to this, Tyler, I have read an article previous this year where Marcy Shimov, author of Happy for No Reason, says that in our society, we think success brings happiness, uh, but that's backward. It's happiness that brings success. And I absolutely agree to her statement because the truth is that when you become happier, you will reach those business success benchmarks, not the other way around. Hmm. And then what is the best book that you've read and what's the number one thing you learned from that? Uh, My favorite book is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And the number one thing I learned from it 
is that work to learn not to earn and this is what some aspiring entrepreneurs or the suitable word would be what entrepreneurs don't understand because they only focus on how to earn money fame etc so that's where they may make mistake and never become successful i believe that the focus should always be on providing something of immense value to the world when you add value you always get rewarded and the second book i like is the better business book and it's of course of course uh, authored by you tyler and i really like the concept of 100 business lessons to live by each time i read it i learned something new so this yes. one my favorite book awesome man thank you um yeah. and then what is your favorite quote and why i would say that don't give up don't take anything personally and don't take no for an answer because you never know what you are going to learn along the way I love it, man. Dude, thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where can our audience best find you online? Uh, LinkedIn would be the best platform to reach out to me. I'm very active on LinkedIn. Or you can drop me an email at advait at the rate apexinfosys.in. That is A-D-V-A-I-T at the rate apexinfosys.in. And if you want to search about me, uh, you can always Google me. I would only be the result. Awesome, brother. Thank you again for coming on. Yeah, thank you Tyler. Thank you for inviting me here. I have been listening to your podcast and you have interviewed so many wonderful people with so many inspiring success stories. So, I am really humbled to be here today. Awesome, man. Thank you again. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.